Hey Kings and Queens, today I just want to talk to y'all about a little bit of our journey, what we plan to be doing, what videos I'll be doing, because I mean, yes, this is a journey on our land, what, how we're building, um, what we're going to be building, just the whole nine, but I do want to talk about some other things on this channel, just to spice it up a little and get my audience broad. Um, I'm going to be looking down, so bear with me. I'll be posting videos every Sunday for you guys to look at. The videos that I'll be talking about is our building journey, us moving into an RV, our living in an RV, how our lifestyle has changed, how we're going to be saving money, how many hours we're working a week, my natural hair, my daughter has natural hair, my son has natural hair, my future hubby is bald, so he won't be discussing any of that. Another thing that I'll be talking about is my weight loss journey. So next year, 2020, I want to go to Barbados. And you know, I gotta get this figure right. So I'll be talking about that and discussing. And the hubby is all about working out. So we'll see how he can help out in his ways. He's gonna try to kill me and I'm just gonna have to work out by myself and figure out this stuff by myself because I worked out with him before, and literally my legs were shaking walking out of the, the gym. Stay tuned, learn a little bit more about what we're doing and what our plans are. Actually, right now, we are still living in the house. We plan to move out this weekend. We've really been pushing it, y'all. Um, we have the bare minimum in the house. We still have the refrigerator our mattresses, our horse feet. We haven't moved our horses yet, as you can tell from some of the previous videos. I'll put the links in the bottom. You see, you'll see with, that we're building some stalls to move our horses, for all three horses that we have. Um, we plan, like I said, we plan to move this weekend, fingers crossed, um, and put the remaining items in our storage and move the rest of the stuff that needs to be put in the RV. Why are we moving? We are currently paying $1,400 in our rent house and we have land that we currently wanna build on in the future. So our RV is out there, as you can see from the previous videos. Our RV is out there, we're building our horse stalls, we plan to move out there to save money. $1,400 a month plus utilities and everything is, you know, can be expensive. Um, so saving about fifteen dollars to $2,000 every month, you know, things come up where you have to spend money. But saving that money um, is going to help us a lot with uh, trying to build our home and building our horse stalls. We don't plan on building right away. We're still trying to clear the land which as you've seen, we've uh, rented Bobcats twice and we probably only cleared about two acres for eight hours, which is about 210 with the trailer and uh, putting the, the diesel back in the, the uh, Bobcat. That's about 210, 220 um, for us to rent it for eight hours. We do plan on renting it for the weekend one day, but we're trying to budget and not spend any extra money. Uh, our plans is to be out of the house by the end of the month, but I hope to be out of the house by the end of this week. Um, get our horses moved out there, get us on the property, living, saving money, and um, saving up to build on the property. Um, I want at least a three bedroom home I want more than that, but I think our goal is to build room by room. So we'll probably build like the master bedroom in the living room, maybe. I don't know. This is just my thoughts. Um, and then we'll continue building on to the house in the future. I now have two jobs. I work for the state and I actually work at Home Depot part time. So. Um, we're trying to get ahead on some stuff and pay off some stuff so we can become debt free with this build. Also, we don't want a mortgage. My future husband actually just got another job 
and he'll be able to work overtime so that's going to consider that's going to be kind of like his second job that he has so all his overtime money will go towards that and our build and clearing our land we have 11.67 acres in texas um it's not off grid i don't believe i think we have to have blueprints we have to have a septic we have to have all the whole nine i haven't figured out everything yet um we're still trying to connect our water we're still trying to co connect our electricity our neighbor i'm gonna try to insert a picture but our neighbor if you're standing facing our road to the left of us he already has his electricity up but like i said i but like I said, we have 11.67 uh, acres and who knows how many acres he has. And his land and his, I mean, his house is very far from where we're going to plan on building. So that's a bunch of poles. So we're going to get a quote on what our electricity is going to cost next week. Um, and I'll let y'all know in another video if it's going to be a lot or if it's going to be a little. What we plan on building is a pole barn home. I love the barn dominium idea, but I believe the metal frame is expensive. I haven't really done a lot of research yet, but I want to do a pole barn, but then I'm kind of thinking, do I want a pole? I want a pole barn, but I don't want a concrete slab because the concrete is so expensive right now. So what we plan to do is pyram beams. I think that's how you say it. I'm not sure, but piers. I want... I'm trying to figure out how we can put a pole barn, how we can build a pole barn on pyramid beams or piers, however you say it. Um, I've been looking at YouTube videos. I have not came across one video that has had anybody build a pole barn, a barn in the medium on piers. So if you guys have found any of these videos or seen a barn, pole barn or po uh, barn dominium on piers please link it below because i have been looking for it and i cannot find one so slabs i've been quoted i've been quoted twice i'm not even gonna say quoted because i didn't even give them a number they just told me that some of these slabs are running 10 15 20 thousand dollars i don't want to spend that much on concrete so that's why i'm looking up you know the pyram beams and if I can't build a barn dominium or a pole barn on piers, then I'll probably try to build a, tr a traditional home on piers. Or I've been looking at this um, this couple, they build an A-frame home. I'm not interested in building an A-frame home, but it's, it's actually cute. So that might be something I might be thinking about doing too. I don't know in the future. We shall see. But my top choices are pole barn, barn dominion.